Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Mr. Saucedo's YouTube videos. Today what we're going to be talking about is how to use a TI light probe. So the first thing that you're going to have to do if you haven't done this already is you're going to have to install an app that will allow us on your Chromebook to um, display data. And so what you need to type in the corner there is the name of the company, which is Vernier. And so uh, I've already installed it, so you might have to add it to Chrome. But uh, when you click on it, right, it'll give you uh, kind of a little example of some of the different uses of Vernier's graphical analysis. But what I want to do is launch the app. So once you've actually had it installed, you can just kind of open it up um, using, you know, what we normally do. Uh, but just to show you kind of what the uh, light probe looks like, the first thing is we have this GoLink cable that goes between the computer and the light probe. And then uh, what plugs in here, this got, like kind of gray looking thing, this is the light probe itself, okay? And so when you open up the actual application, um, you can see that it's looking at the light level over here, and then it's looking at how much time has passed. If you click on uh, graph options, it'll give you, you know, kind of, you can add a title, you can change things on there. But uh, the big thing here is we want to like, we want it to last probably a little longer than a couple of seconds. So if you click on where it says time mode, you can set the time so that it's something, you know, much bigger than what we want. So um, you can end the collection instead of after 10 seconds, let's just do it manually. And we'll say done, okay? And then uh, in order to collect the data, all you have to do is click on this button where it says collect, okay? Uh, another little kind of tidbit is that um, if we go to view here, uh, you can also view what the meter itself is reading, which right now we haven't even turned on the meter, so it's not actually reading anything right now. But let's just look at the graph, okay? So I'm gonna click collect, and it's gonna start to pick up ambient light, so I'm just gonna pick this up and put it kind of like towards the screen a little bit. You can see that there's a small little spike. But if I put it like, you know, towards something that's very bright, it'll start to increase and flatline. And then if I pull it back to, you know, kind of the screen again, it goes back down to almost nothing. I wonder what happens if I put it behind my screen? Maybe there's a little blip. But anyway, uh, this is telling you the relative amount of light that is being uh, collected. And so it will graph that over time. And so that could be a very useful application in various labs. When you're done, you can click on stop. And this is kind of our data, okay? And you can see that the uh, light intensity is over here, and that's the time. And uh, if you wanted to, you could export that as an image and then add it to a lab report, okay, or to turn it into Google Classroom. And that's how you use a, a TI light probe using uh, Vernier graphical analysis.